see you soon. I love that guy. Final Destination 5. All right, it's really funny about Final Destination movies. I think you can watch my review of The Final Destination or Final Destination 4, and whatever I said in there probably applies to this movie. But in Final Destination 5, there's gonna be a big disaster. It's a bridge this time that collapses. One generic kid gets a vision of the whole thing. He tells everyone to scram off the bridge. The ones who get off the bridge, they live. Everyone else dies. And now, death's coming for you. But as for Final Destination 5, once again, Death is pissed off that he's been cheated out of eight souls, and now he's sequentially killing them off in glorious manner. And let's face it, this movie exists for one thing, the deaths. Which I'm not gonna lie, in terms of Final Destination 5, if I were to work on this movie or something, there are two jobs that I would want. One, the guy who has to think up all the weird ass mousetrap style deaths. That is a guy with imagination right there. Probably a pretty fun job too. And admit it, you think of that shit too. And the casting director. I think the casting director in this movie has the easiest job ever. Because here's how you cast a Final Destination movie. You take the names of all the hopeful waiters in LA, put them all in a hat, draw eight names out, you now have your cast for Final Destination. Done. I see you soon. Other than the boss from Whiting and that guy from, you know, a hundred other comedies, the most recognizable face in this movie, it's not even his face you recognize. He looks like a young Tom Cruise impersonator. That's why you recognize him. Yeah, not Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise impersonator. Now, as for the deaths in this movie, some of them are really cool. Some of them are, yeah. Some of them just kind of fell short. There were a couple that had really good buildup, and then in the end, gravity killed them. I mean, at first it was like, okay, it's starting to get elaborate, and in the end, it was just a fall. Because nothing beats the second one, log through the face. It's beautiful. I'm feeling pretty morbid right now, but it's probably my favorite Final Destination death. As for the 3D, it was garbage. I didn't think the 3D looked good at all. The depth of field was crap. It was blurry in some scenes. It just, no. It had a lot of 3D gimmicks, of course, like pulls going through people's bodies and, uh, you know, just doing that whole thing where it pops out at you. That being said, the 3D still looked like crap. Because I am done with the whole movie theater gimmick at this point. The moment I saw 4D romoscope, Done. And when I was watching the movie, I was like, they should just make a montage of just all the deaths in Final Destination. Sure enough, end credits come, montage of all the deaths from the other four movies. Made my day. Coolest part of the movie right there. It's like I felt the love from the movie at that point. It was like Valentine's Day. So it has the acting you expect, it has the people you expect, it has the hot chicks you expect, it has the deaths you kind of expect, but you kind of get disappointed also. Some are really cool, some disappointing. In the end, this movie will probably be a good time when you're drunk. Yeah, now it's a party. I can't feel my face. I say when, not if, because you know you're gonna go into this movie hammered. But be respectful to your movie theater crew and don't puke in the aisles. So what is your favorite movie death in any movie ever? Not just Final Destination, but any movie ever. You can do Final Destination and any movie ever if you want. For me, it's gotta be Jason X. Shitty movie, awesome death. There's a sink of liquid nitrogen. Jason takes the girl's head and puts her head in the liquid nitrogen. And the camera's looking up from the bottom of the sink and you see her just scream and then her face freezes. Then he just pulls her head out and smashes it on the counter. Coolest death ever. Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.